Bible tells us that God can do anything. Oh, hiya! My name's Maddie. What's your name? So pleased you could join us today as we find out more about the Bible. The Bible is God's word to us, his special message. The Bible is one of the ways that God loves to talk to us. When we read the Bible with the Holy Spirit's help, we get to see God's amazing love and his awesome rescue plan with Jesus at the heart of every story. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Caleb. What's that? Oh, this, this is my trumpet. Can you make a musical sound with it? Yes, you can blow in this end and you can press down on these, which are called valves, to change the sound. Wow, that is really loud. It reminds me of what we're learning about today in the Bible. What is it? Today, we are learning that the Bible tells us that God can do anything. Today's story is all about a man called Joshua, who with God's help and the sound of trumpets, brought down a very big city wall so that he and the Israelites could walk through the city in safety. Would you like to hear it? Is it a true story? Yes, because the Bible is God's word to us. We know that everything it says is true. Would you like to hear the story? Yes, please. Are you ready to hear today's story? Yes, I am. Are you ready to hear today's story? Let's do our wriggle rhyme to make sure. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Wiggle your ears and wiggle your nose. Wiggle your body, you're doing great. Now stop, it's story time. So sit up straight. Well done, you're ready. God told Joshua that it was now time for him to take his special people, the Israelites, into the promised land the land that he told Moses would become their new home. By this time, they had been wandering in the desert for 40 years and Moses had died. As they came to the edge of the desert, they could see their new home, Canaan. As they got closer, they saw a city in the valley ahead that was in their way. It was the city of Jericho. The people of Jericho had heard that the Israelites were close by, so they shut up their city so that no one could get in and no one could get out. It had a huge, tall wall all around the city with big, strong iron gates that had been bolted shut and soldiers up high keeping guard. The Israelites did not know what to do, but God did. God had a special plan and he told Joshua what to do. The Israelites must have been very surprised when Joshua told them what God's plan was. But Joshua and the Israelites knew that God was with them. God had made a promise to his people. I will always be with you, he said, and I will never ever leave you. If you do what I say, your life in your new home will be very good and everything will go well. So Joshua gathered the army. They came with their swords and shields ready to fight. But the plan was not about fighting but about trusting and doing what God said. For six days, the army marched around the city just once in complete silence. Behind them were seven priests blowing their trumpets. They marched in front of the Ark of the Covenant. The word Ark just means a box and a covenant is a really strong type of promise. So it was God's promise box and it was covered with gold. Inside the box, Moses had put the stone blocks with God's rules on, Aaron's special stick and a jar of the manna that God gave them to eat when they had been in the desert. God told them to take this box with them wherever they went, because every time they stopped and camped, this was where God's presence rested. So it was a very, very special box. On the seventh day, God told them to do something different. Rather than marching round just once, they marched around seven times. As the days before, the priests blew their trumpets, but the army stayed silent. After the seventh time, the priests blew one long note. This was a special sermon. When the army and all the people heard it, they all shouted together. 
It was very loud. Suddenly they heard a crack, then another, then another. The walls of the city started to break and fall apart. The gates just fell over. Soon there was nothing left of the walls. They had just crumbled. God had given them the city. It was time for them to go into their new home, just as God had promised. That story is incredible. It certainly is. God's people were on their way to the land that God had promised them. But there was one thing in their way, the city of Jericho. Jericho was surrounded by a great strong wall. There was no way for God's people to get in. The people were discouraged. That does not sound good. God told Joshua to tell the people to march around the city every day for seven days. Then, on day seven, they marched around the city, not once, but seven times. After they finished marching, they lifted up their trumpets and let out a long blast. At that moment, the walls fell down. The city of Jericho was now theirs. God did it. He is strong and powerful. God can do anything. That's amazing. It certainly is. The story reminds us that we can ask God to help us too. God sent us the Holy Spirit to empower us and to help us in the big moments in our lives and the small moments. He cares about them because he cares about us. We're probably not going to have to ask him to bring down a city wall, but there will be times in our lives when we do need him to intervene in miraculous ways. That could be asking for peace if we're feeling worried or asking him for healing if we or someone we know is hurt or sick or asking him to help us in a difficult time. God is so good to us. He certainly is. We can trust God in all situations we face because he wants the best for us. The Bible says in Luke chapter one, verse 37, for nothing will be impossible with God. The Bible tells us that God can do anything. That's right. I'm loving learning about the Bible. I can't wait to find out more. Well, you're going to have to wait till next time, as it's time for us to go. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you next time. See you later. Bye. See ya.